Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, let's talk rainfall again because we picked up a little bit more late last night, earlier this morning. Wasn't a lot in the metro at least, 12 100s, but you go south of town and it was a good soaking in many, many spots. And this was great to see as we continue to add uh, to the rainfall, which we've needed badly for several weeks now. You can see south of town where you see these areas of green down to near the parkways. Boy, close to E-Town, for example. Scattered pockets of one inch plus rainfall, beneficial rainfall. Well, that has pretty much come to an end. And I think going forward, we're expecting lots of dry time until, until late, late Saturday night and Sunday. That's when more rain is expected across the region. These are false echoes on the radar scan. It's dry here in town. You look real close. There's some echoes moving down here in Green and Taylor County. So there could be, there could be a sprinkle, maybe a little bit of light misty drizzle, something like that. But even as the moisture continues to thin out in the column, that will be coming to an end if it's occurring at this time. Your detailed 12 hour forecast we're going to dry it out everywhere. We're going to see decreasing clouds through the evening. It's going to happen from north to south across the viewing area. Uh, and as a result, it's going to get kind of chilly overnight tonight. We're expecting 40s here in town with even some 30s in the outlying regions to the north of the metro. Right now, we have mostly cloudy skies and even 60. It's pretty out there. Humidity 72% and the wind is on the calm side. So here's the big picture. Things have really quieted down as the drier air is winning out and pushing in from the northwest. Still quite a few of these low clouds, but these should be thinning out and clearing as high pressure really starts to nudge in. And that high, mind you, will dominate our weather the next two days. Dry skies, pleasant temperatures. Then we have to watch this system out here in the Rockies. This is our next wave of impact weather. It looks like it's going to be moving in here late, late Saturday night and continue into Sunday in the form of showers. And some of this rain could be locally heavy. It looks like much of the viewing area will see a half inch to possibly an inch and a half with this rain on Sunday. The good news, strong to severe storms, not expected. Just a general rainfall with this guy the second half of the weekend. Well, it's not rain. At least it hasn't been earlier today and last night, this was Evergreen, Colorado. Check that out. Just west of Denver, the snow was piling up. First big time snow of the season for those folks. All right, around here in for tomorrow morning, no snow. We're gonna wake up mainly clear. Temperatures 30s to the north, 40s elsewhere. Moving through the day, a pretty day. Not the world's brightest day, but a mix of clouds and sunshine. And those temperatures will be seasonable, maybe a little bit better than that, as we'll be in the 60s on your Friday afternoon. Here's the forecast for this evening. Clearing skies from north to south, cool and quiet, 40s and 50s across the region. We wake up quiet in the morning, kind of chilly there. Temperatures 40s, some 30s in southern Indiana. Beautiful afternoon, though, a mix of clouds and sun in 67. We're, do, we're gonna do that again on Saturday. And then that rain chance with the impact weather moves in Sunday. Quick hitter, though, because by Veterans Day, it's out of here with more 70s early next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Good. Yeah. I'll get that for sure. Not yet.